weight replicas of their current top of the range sports bikes. Think of the 916 and the 748. Uh, or more recently the 1299 and the 959. The current Apex Predator in Ducati's lineup is the 1100 V4. And this is its middleweight sibling, the absolutely stunningly beautiful Panigale V2. Although this bike is based heavily on the 959, it's not just that bike with a body kit. Um, it breathes a bit better, it's got an extra injector per cylinder which help it make about five more horsepower and a couple more newton meters. But the really significant change to this is that it's now got the IMU and the electronics package from the V4 which takes it to a whole new level. What that gives you is improved traction control, adjustable engine braking management, a great bi-directional quick shifter, really effective wheelie control and cornering functionality to the ABS system. As you might expect, ergonomics on this are just uncompromising sports bike. I have to scrunch myself up into a little ball to even get on this thing and if I'm riding on tiptoe the foot pegs are so high I've literally got no bend left in my knee. Uh, it's really head down bum up, lots and lots of weight on your wrist so it's a bit of a trial in town. Uh, motorways actually are a bit more bearable because you get a bit of wind blast to take some of that weight off you and actually the seat's surprisingly comfortable. You'll never see a review of a Panigale that doesn't talk about how much heat comes off that rear header which is right there between your legs. Nowhere near as bad as a V4 and actually on a chilly day like today it was kind of welcome but if you're sitting on this thing on a 30 degree day stuck in traffic you're going to know all about it. Of course this thing was never designed to be much of a commuter and it's when you come out to a place like this that it all starts to make loads more sense. The amount of power this makes on the road is just about perfect. Way less intimidating than the 215 horsepower that the V4 makes. And um, although, you know, this is still a 155 horsepower motorcycle, so it's not slow, you just get to use more of it more of the time. Handling is just absolutely superb. You can lean it over forever. There's tons and tons of grip from the tires. Really good feedback from the front end once we'd softened the suspension down a bit. And I'm just a bit gutted we didn't get to take it to the track, to be honest. I was really looking forward to riding this bike and I was hoping it was going to be a more fun, less intimidating road bike than the V4. And I have to say, I haven't been disappointed in any way. Uh, not only that, this might just be the most beautiful thing that Ducati have ever drawn. And um, even though you might be cursing it driving across town to get out into the country, when you get to somewhere like this, you're just going to fall in love with it every single time.